<laughs> Hello, minions. Wheezy here. Today we're going to talk about the Division 2 and how to spend your time as efficiently as possible in the early levels so that you can rank up quickly and get to that good in game content and make the absolute most out of your playing time. Let's go! Now there is a lot of content in the Division 2, and that's a good thing. But the best content is at the end of the campaign and at the end of when you reach level 30. So in order to make the most of your playtime, these tips are to help you efficiently get through those early levels without wasting a bunch of time doing stuff that's just going to slow you down. So we're going to cover four primary things in this video. Um, first is we're going to not waste our time comparing low level gear. Second is we're going to manage our junk in our inventory in a way that's quick and efficient. Third, we're not going to craft early in the game. And fourth, we're going to wait until after the mission is over in order to check our loot. All of these things are going to speed up the progression in the early game without spending a whole lot of time doing stuff that just doesn't give you any value. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make sure that we don't waste a bunch of time in the early game comparing low-level gear. This is going to drain so much of your time and you are going to be finding loot all over the place. And that's exciting. The game is a looter shooter, so that's what you want. That's what you're looking forward to, is finding all this awesome loot on the ground. The problem with that is, as you're picking it up, if you spend a lot of time comparing, well, is this SMG a little bit better than that SMG, you're going to be wasting so much time on whichever one you choose is just going to be obsolete in 10 minutes because at the early game you're ranking up so quickly that, that nothing lasts that long. So really you don't want to spend a whole lot of time comparing low level gear because you're just going to replace it in 5 minutes anyway. So what you want to do is when you pick up gear that's exciting and you want to look at it but when you're going through it just compare the primary stats of it. When it's armor all you want to do is compare the armor stat early on. It, it's going to tell you the comparison of what you picked up versus what you have equipped. Green means it's got more armor, which means that it's going to protect you better than the other armor that you have on. And if you get down in the weeds looking at, well, does it have this bonus protection? It's going to be gone in five minutes anyway, so don't worry about it. Just equip whatever's green, all right? The best armor that you have at the time, equip it and just move on. Don't waste your time. Um, for weapons, it's a little bit different. For weapons, they have multiple stats, and your playstyle is going to depend on what kind of weapons you like. You might like snipers or shotguns or SMGs or assault rifles. But again, don't spend a lot of time comparing them. If you like assault rifles and you want an assault rifle, take that assault rifle, right? If you've got a new one and it's a level 4 and the old one's level 3, if it's an assault rifle and you like it, just equip the level 4. Don't don't worry about, about finding exactly the one you like. Not that early on in the game, because again, you're if you pick up a level 3, you know, M16 that you really like, you're going to get to level 6 really quickly, and that gun's going to be useless, so it won't matter. It's like, well, I picked up an ACR, but I don't like that as much as the M16. If it's a level 4 or a level 5, just just go with it. You're, you're going to waste your time early on, so just move on, take the new gear, equip what's best, and then when you get to the end game, which is the whole point, is to get to that end game, so that the, the gear that you pick up actually matters. At that point, you're going to want to compare, min, max, look at stats and all that stuff, but early on, just move quickly. Next, we want to talk about managing junk in your inventory quickly and efficiently. Because the other side of how much loot you're going to pick up is that you're not going to be using most of it. So what you want to do is as you're picking up loot and you're deciding what's best and you're equipping, especially early on, you're just equipping whatever's the highest stat stuff there, and then all the rest of it, as soon as you're like, okay, well, this this is armor 400 and that old one is 360, mark the old one as junk, right? You there's You'll see it on the screen where you can, where you can just mark it and it marks it as junk and just leave it in your inventory. Don't even mess with it for now. The important thing early on is to make the most of your time. So you don't want to spend a lot of time juggling around and sifting through a bunch of old crap. So so when you have the armor that's protecting you the best in each slot, mark everything else as junk. Don't do anything with it yet. Just leave it as junk in your inventory. Um, weapons are a little bit different because again, it depends on what kind of weapons you enjoy. Um, so if you have an assault rifle and you like, maybe you only like assault rifles and snipers or whatever. So just keep the best of those that you have and mark the rest of them as junk. Okay. Or if you're like me and you want to keep the best one of each category, I keep the best assault rifle, the best SMG, the best sniper, the best shotgun I can find. I keep one of each. So that's just kind of me, like the collector in it. But again, I keep the best of each and then the rest get marked as junk. Now the reason we don't want to do anything with them right now and just mark them as junk is because they can be used, a lot of this stuff is going to be requirements for completing projects in the different safe houses. So you don't want to just arbitrarily get rid of junk right away. So you want to make sure that you're saving your junk. <laughs> You want to make sure you're saving your junk for the safe houses because you want to make sure you get those projects complete. 
you're also going to want to make sure that you're not going to the vendors and selling your old junk. Because dismantling the junk, I keep saying junk a lot, and it feels like a lot of junk, but it's junk, so we're going to say junk. Um, <laughs> you want to dismantle the junk because that so much junk. You want to dismantle it because it gives you crafting materials, which you're going to need at the end game. Now, as we're going to talk about in a second, you don't want to use that crafting material yet, but you want to make sure you're marking all the stuff that you're not using as junk. You are waiting to see if you can use it to complete any projects, and when you aren't using it for any projects, you deconstruct it all into crafting materials. Don't fiddle around with old crap in your inventory, mark everything you're not using as junk, and then deconstruct it as a group when you get to the safe house and you realize that you don't need it for a project. The third point is we do not want to be crafting early. Now you unlock the crafting bench early on, and the game is trying to teach you how crafting works. But crafting in the early game is like a worse version of looting, which means that you have to put a lot of extra time and effort and materials that you've gathered into crafting some wonderfully crafted new piece of kit that is, again, going to be completely useless in 20 minutes when you level up twice. So you want to make sure that you're not spending your crafting materials on doing crafting early in the game. Save all of that so that when you get to the end game, and you're min-maxing your gear, and you really need that crafting material that you have it, and you didn't waste it all on the level 6 SMG that you threw away immediately after you made it. Um, I've made this mistake many times where it's like, oh, my gloves suck. I'll craft a new pair of gloves because I got this blueprint, and then I spend materials on these gloves, and then immediately I go into a mission, and at the end of the mission I find gloves that are better than the ones I just crafted. I mean, just do not craft in the early game. Save all that uh, material, save all the crafting equipment for the end game. And the last tip for keeping things efficient is to loot and scoot. When, you, when you're picking up loot during a mission or an activity, like if you're capturing a, a stronghold or you're, or you're just going through a story mission, you pick up loot as you go and you have a tendency, especially when you have these lulls in between rooms in a mission where you're like, oh, I'll go through and pick up and look at what I got. That's just going to slow you down. And the gear you're going to get in the middle of a mission isn't going to make such a significant difference that it's really going to help you to complete that mission. It's just going to slow you down and you're going to waste your time. So go through the missions, pick up all that loot. Obviously you want to pick it up, but don't bother going through and trying to equip any of it until you get to the end of whatever activity you're doing. And preferably until you get back to like a safe area. So if you're doing a couple of activities, don't worry about whether or not you're doing a lot of you know, swapping out the latest gear that you got. It's not going to make a big difference. It's going to spend a lot of time slowing you down. Unless you're out there, like, running with a group, and you guys do, like, 12 missions without going back to a safe house, then, yeah, you might want to equip the gear that you're picking up. But in general, just pick it up, leave it in your inventory. When you get back to the safe house and you're upgrading your skills and you're upgrading your talents and you're, and you're doing all of the, the inventory management stuff and, and cutscenes and all that crap, that's when you should go through, equip all the latest stuff, mark everything else as junk, submit the stuff that's junk to the projects, and whatever else is left, deconstructing for crafting materials that you're not going to use. All of these things combined are going to save you a whole lot of time in the early game. Because again, we want to we want to enjoy this game, and we want to, you know, we don't necessarily want to rush through it, and that's not what I'm talking about. Enjoy the story missions, enjoy exploring the world. Do not waste your time enjoying the menus and looking through low-level crap that you're just going to throw away. Follow these four tips. It'll help you get through the early game quicker, get to that cool in-game content, and then you are, trust me, going to be spending plenty of time digging through those menus and making sure that you've got all the best stats and crafting and combining and upgrade. There's plenty of time for that later. Don't do it now. Okay, minions, hopefully you enjoyed that video and you got some good information out of it so you can make the most out of your time in the Division 2. If you want to be a minion, you've got to be subscribed to the channel, so make sure that you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.